for a therapy session? Yes, that's right. Welcome. My name is Amanda. Hi, Amanda. (laughs) This is a little weird, isn't it? Online therapy. I guess the future is here. It certainly is. Are you ready to start? Would you like to grab a drink of water? No, I'm ready. I've got a lot to talk about. Okay, then let's begin. Tell me what's on your mind. I just, I don't know what to do about it now. The whole situation at home has just become impossible. I'm sorry. Matt is my best friend, but lately she's acting like she doesn't trust me. That must be hurtful. It is. We've known each other since we were kids, and now she's suddenly suspicious of everything I do. I mean, maybe it's just that we're in each other's hair all the time, but it's infuriating. Infuriating, yes. Maddening, exasperating. Pandemic or not, I think I've got to move out, don't you? Before it gets worse. Well, I don't know. Let's think about the pros and cons of that. Okay. Um, Pros are that by moving out, I get out of this weird situation with her boyfriend, Ricky. And cons are that she'll hate me forever for sticking her with the rent. It's not cheap. No. What are you feeling right now? Guilt. Horrible, horrible, soul-destroying guilt. Guilt is a useless emotion. (laughs) It may be useless, but that doesn't mean you could just toss it in the trash and be done with it. It's living with me, you know, in here. It's a permanent house guest. Interesting. Say more about that. It's this suspicion that it might be my fault him being in love with me or whatever, that maybe I let him on. I mean, I was friendly. You were friendly? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, what am I gonna be, hostile? He's her boyfriend. Right, he's her boyfriend. Wait, what are you suggesting? He's her boyfriend, not mine? I know he's not mine. I'm not suggesting anything. Well, it sounded a little judgmental. I'm sorry, Katie, I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to listen. Oh, okay, but you're making me think that that maybe I played some part in his getting so weird about me, but maybe in some way this is my fault. It's not your fault, Katie. Don't blame yourself. It's not productive. You are totally blameless here. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. It means a lot to hear you say that. And how do you feel about that? About uh, what? Who? Hmm. I don't know. The pros and cons. The pros and cons of what? I don't follow. Follow, yes. And sue, accompany, comply. Are you okay? I'm confused. Uh, I'm so sorry, Katie. I'm afraid we're gonna have to stop for a moment. Who are you? Uh, I'm Charles Fandango with Greater Dynamics. This is Lou. Thank you so much for signing up for this experimental new approach to therapy, but We're having technical difficulties. Wait, what are you doing to her? What's going on here? Oh my God. Huh, is she a robot? We prefer the term AI. Uh, How can that be? Robots aren't supposed to be that real. I just told her my secrets. Which will stay entirely private in a highly encrypted file which only we can read. You? Mm-hmm. Who are you? A uh, complete stranger. Charles Fandango. I'm the head of the project. No, that you're... okay, I don't care what your name is. I subscribed to a free session because I was told that I would get to speak in private to a highly trained professional. Uh-huh. FK24, Amanda, is a highly trained professional. 
She's been uploaded with six years of medical school, is accredited with the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology, and is highly trained in cognitive, effective, and behavioral neuroscience. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you said I'd get 45 minutes. We'll resume if we can. The designer's addressing the issue. How you doing, Lou? No, uh, uh, it's gonna take a few minutes, but we'll be fine. Okay. In the meantime, do you mind if I ask you a few questions, Katie? I guess not. Okay. So, what were your first impressions of the therapist? Did she seem intelligent? Oh, yeah. But not intimidating. Like, she didn't start quoting Freud or using big psyche words. <laughs> I appreciated that. <laughs> and how are you feeling about the session I, up until the last moment? I liked it. It seemed like she really cared. Okay. Um, there was one, you know, before it got glitchy, um, one moment where I said that I thought that it was my fault and she didn't seem like she was really listening to me. I noticed that me. too, Charles. Uh, it didn't automatically correct. Might be a volume input thing. Try saying it again now, Katie. Get closer to the mic. Um, maybe it's all my fault. It's not your fault, Katie. Don't judge yourself. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe she's not human. I really thought we were connecting. Excellent. And I really felt like she understood when I was telling her about Ricky. <sighs> He's so good looking. I bet any girl would respond to him, especially with all this isolation. I'm only human. You're only human. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, but we really do have to let Lou do his work. Uh, Lou, can you please? No, no I'm sorry. I can't uh, deactivate right now. It's in the middle of systems check. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's continue. Any other observations, Katie? Well, yeah. When I said he's her boyfriend and she repeated it, um, maybe it was just my imagination, but it felt a little accusatory. But that's not possible. When FK24 repeats, it captures the exact cadence of the patient's speech. But I'll set it to repeat. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. His toenails were green. His toenails were green. He's her boyfriend. He's her boyfriend. Wow. That clears it up. I guess I was just being sensitive. Interesting. She should mention that, Charles. We've projected sensitivity to mannerisms in the next model. You guys think that I seduced Ricky, don't you? You think that it's my fault. Frankly, I wasn't listening to the emotional content of your conversation. Ricky instigated the whole thing. How is that my fault? It's not your fault. Let's examine the pros and cons. Lou, isn't there a mute button? We're still processing, but let me see if I can... Um... Insider trading is illegal, yes. It could land you in jail. Sorry, previous patient, ignore that. Jesus! Guilt is a useless emotion. There. That's your session. I didn't ask for her session. I asked you to mute her. So what you're saying, Amanda, is that I'm just torturing myself needlessly. Is that right? Yes. Torture others instead. Whoa. What? I'm not sure what I did there. Oh, I see. I accidentally activated sense of humor. It's a feature of FK24. Sometimes a patient's looking for a doctor with a funny bone. Lou, let's bring this session to a close. Of course. I I'm going to take FK24 back to the lab now. Um, no, please don't take her away. She's the only person who understands me. I'm afraid our time is up. See you next week. Uh, please, Amanda, um, just tell me I'm a good person. You're a good person, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. That will be $250, credit card, debit, or Venmo. Well. You seem very impressed with uh, FK, um, Amanda. When does she come on the market? <laughs> We're shooting for winter 2022. Ah, I'd like to book my sessions now. I don't care what it costs. Well, it says here you're a waitress. I mean, how can you possibly afford that? It's just- Hey, I don't care. I will find a way. Okay. We'll be in touch. <sighs> Thank you again, Katie. Okay, rebooting is complete and it's working perfectly now.
Good. Impressive work, Lou. We couldn't have planned this, but that little glitch demonstrated how desperate people are for therapy right now. Not the accident, huh? Post-pandemic demand is going to skyrocket. You've convinced me this is the answer. I made a decision. We're going to put the bulk of this year's budget towards the FK24. Well, that's great news. And, you know, FK25 is testing very well. I'd be happy to demo that for first you. First things first, Lou. This is an excellent first step. Glad to be working with you, Charles. I'll wire the money in the morning. Ah, <sighs> uh, Katie. What a delight you are. I couldn't be more grateful. Is this... I signed up for a therapy session? Yes, yes, you certainly did. You make a father very proud. Go to sleep now, FK25.